The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home, Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> He saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I gotta admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? This was pure hell. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few bucks. <laughs> Edward Snowman was no beauty, but it was all I had left. Even the box with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. The Edward Snowman was all I had. with my lighter. If I didn't get my ass in gear, there wouldn't be any forever. I really wanted to paint some flames on the hood, but there's no time for that. Ever. I really wanted to paint some flames, but there's no time for that. Ever. It would take for if I didn't...
The Edward Snowman was no beauty, but it was all I had left. The Organon had sealed the door to the Blast Tower. As if to say, if anyone is gonna blow this planet to hell, then it's gonna be us. What a joke. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end.
could see everything from up here. The destruction, the hopelessness, and the button that would simultaneously release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. The door would hold them off for now. Chill ran down my spine when I saw the bomb. Probably just snow in my hood. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that's it. The end of the <coughs> frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. Like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill that gap in memory. Living in the waste was unto your taste, but soon you will gaze too straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. Fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about the clear winter. Oh, fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about the clear winter. I used that to build my rocket harpoon. Er, wait, that was only in my dream, right? Man, this is confusing. The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. No, 
I've been practicing the lasso number long enough. The next time I throw out a loop, then it'll be to catch something. These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? But the new and improved Rufus no longer throws junk at his girlfriend's crystal glasses. All I need for that is my fingers and a blazing fire in the stove. That stuff is just for looks. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. True. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. To Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh, damn! The stove is still out. How stupid of me. And I wanted to take Tony with me, too. Fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about nuclear winter. Why worry about finding a suitable anchor? I'm taking Tony with me, after all. Why worry about... I'm taking Tony with me, after all. No, I've been practicing the last suit. The next time I throw... No, I've been... The next time I... Away with that! These things have blocked my view of the oxyhydrogen vents long enough. Finally, we're allowed to light the oxyhydrogen vents again. That is already disassembled. And as every tinkerer knows, after this comes re. I can build a machine that turns worthless junk into useful objects. Uh, no, too bad. I can build do that. I'd need an adapter to mount that here. Well, that and a good reason. Why worry about fine I'm taking
tempting. But the new and improved Rufus no longer throws junk at it. No, I've been practicing the lasso number long enough. The next time I throw out a... Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I going to do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Don't look. Otherwise, it'll keep me from working for days. Again. to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organon conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, Stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed.
those visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! You can't park here. You. Oh boy, somehow my vision missed this. Hey, you. Hello? You can't park here. <laughs> Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... What are you doing there anyway? You don't want to know that. Believe me. <laughs> totally. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you. At least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. Who are you anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Then stop asking me questions. No contact. It's essential. What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's... One minute. What did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize. But your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. What are you doing there anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end in time. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Puerto Reptica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before I reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! 
itch on my fontanelle. Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. Macronical. Macronical? But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just that. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Stop! You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you shouting stop? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's come on. Come on. Come on. Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! 